Monday morning. I got a storm coming in, so I wanted to make this little video. I wanted to make it earlier in the week for you, but it's been extremely hot. It's been in over a 100 degree heat index. And uh, it's tough on us, it's tough on the machinery. We quit between one and two o'clock in the afternoon because hydraulics don't, uh, machinery and yourself don't like the heat. But extreme, if you have a hydraulic driven piece of equipment, it doesn't like extreme heat. And it's hard even for the coolers to cool it down. But that's another issue I'll talk to you about. But today we're gonna to talk about a maintenance issue that you need to do. I. This is on a 2550 Bandit, but a lot of different machinery it has, it's tractors or whatever. This has the newer Kubota engine on it, and the Kubota model engine is a D1803T. The T stands for turbo, all right? So these run, I'm gonna turn this around. These run a bigger muffler, which is also burns off particulates, and um, this is our, our deal we're dealing with today, okay? If you have this problem, and you will have this problem if you don't do this maintenance, all right? Diesel fuel, it's in the tanks over here. You know, I, I'm everywhere, I drive everywhere. So normally I try to get my fuel at one particular brand of places that I, I could trust the fuel, but sometimes I go to these mom and pop places and all. And with temperature variations, you're going to get condensation in tanks, whether it's the underground tanks or uh, your own tank in your machinery, because it gets hot, it gets cool, it gets hot, it's cool, and that produces what's called condensation, so which is water in your fuel. Now there are additives you can add, but I don't, you know, hey, older machinery I don't want to put additives in. I don't know how particular these new engines are. Okay, so safe is be safe first but let me tell you what issue came up with me at 200 hours remember that was between winter time and fall of different temperatures going up and down so i did get uh, condensation or i could have picked it up from a bad fuel station i got at one time an excessive amount of water and fuel all right so on these newer Kubota engines, they run a fuel filter, another filter with a water separator, okay? Down here, you can unscrew that, it's a water separator. Now, the problem that you'll find, and hold on a second, I'll show you what it is. All right, the problem you're gonna find is, the first hint, something's going wrong, the machine like hiccuped. You know, I started on a stump that day, I was grinding, and it just had a little, hesitation no problem ground the rest of the day everything was all good next morning we go out to another job my son and i he starts up starts up fine no problem under load she started getting losing power and oscillating uh, uh, going up and down and i was like eh, that's a fuel issue so i drained i opened up the petcock drained whatever was in there i did notice some water in there and i said uh, I got water in there. Let's screw it back in. I prime the pump. This one has an electric fuel pump. So prime comes up. The electric fuel pump fills up here, goes up, and we're all good. All right. So that's how it runs here. Fuel comes from your tank in here. This here is a a primer. You prime up, comes through this line, goes to electric fuel pump, electric fuel pump, through another filter before it comes up to the injection pump. I like this system, I really do, all right? The old ones, you had a mechanical on the other side of the engine, and you only had a small fuel filter. Uh, well, you had a, a, a smaller canister and a small inline filter. This one, I like it. But the problem I had, I said, I, I diagnosed, okay, I got a fuel issue, all right? So I want to change all my filters. I drained my tank, it was low, I found water at the bottom of the tank, cleaned it, purged it, put new fuel in it. But I wanted a new filter. This is how it comes from the factory. There are no numbers on this filter. So I'm like, oh crap. All right. So, and then on this, the water separator filter, there are no numbers, all it says, made in Germany. So my. So now I say I'm, I'm hostage. 
I'm down. I'm hostage. I gotta go to the dealer. I said, nah, let me call up my buddy Oscar because he's owned this engine, this particular engine. Two years ago, he had the model before it, and, and he knows. He said, Oscar, what filters you replace with? I said, oh, he sends me a picture of a number. All right. And his number on his filter apparently was already updated again by Kubota. So the good thing about it is, I'll show you a picture, I'll give you the numbers, the filters are available on Amazon. I go down to my tractor dealer, which is close to me, because I live, you know, in the borderline of, you know, farms and stuff. I go into Kubota and says, hey, listen, I needed this number filter. And uh, he goes, oh, hey, well, that's been updated to another number. And two seconds later, bam, he's on the counter, gives it to me. I said, okay. And I says, uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know what this one is. Oh, yeah, hold on. Bam, he throws it down on the counter. I said, like, oh, God, it's a good day. I'm, I get home, spin it off, spin it off, spin the new ones on, prime, put, turn the key, prime's up, motor, bam. Problem's over. Within one hour, we're back grinding, making money. So I have the numbers for this. There'll be, uh, there'll be see a picture in the video. And then I have the number, I put them down in the description of the video, you will see the numbers, and if it's available on Amazon, I'll put a link in Amazon. So, for my fuel filter, there's the number, it's HH1JO-43172. On this one here, I'll have to get the original boxes, which is in the photograph, I'll write it down for you, you'll have it. All right, so this is made in Germany. All right, this is German made. And then they, but they come in boxes. They come in the Kubota boxes. So from the Kubota factory, you'll get, they'll be Kubota brand. That's what I recommend putting on there. Bam, you're in, you're out, you're done. Okay. If someone else can have a crossover for something else for these, Hey, post it in the comment section. That's what we're all here for, to help everybody, all right? So anyway, a short video if you feel some sputtering and all, and also periodically drain it. And do not lose Dotus away, because your new filter comes like this, doesn't come with that bottom, all right? So, very important to the life of this engine, fuel. Clean fuel keeps your fuel, your, your injection pump running well. I did put a little bit of fuel conditioner in there that I put that, uh, oh God, hold on a minute. I think I got a bottle of it here. I just put it in once and <laughs> I'm a mess. it was just that diesel clean, the one that they sell everywhere, Walmart or anything. I put the proper amount in my fuel, ran it through. It cleaned everything up besides draining out the tank, getting all the moisture out. We're up and running and doing well. Anyway, just a quick little video. It's Sunday. God bless you all. And uh, there's another guy that's got some great videos. He runs a SG40 and a big Vermeer. I think it's called Superior Stump Grinding. God bless you, brother. You're doing a great job out there and your stuff. And he shows you about what he thinks about the new wheel that Vermeers are coming out with compared to a new river. Personally, you know, I've got both, you know, I've got the green wheels and I've got new river for my son. Now in this business, prefer the new river for my son, you know, and, um, there's a reason why, because he, I don't have to worry about if he breaks something, he doesn't have to take off pocket, stuff like that. Most of, only thing we've ever broke is some, is the, uh, carbide off the end of it, uh, a cutter tooth and I taught him how to change all and that's what I'm doing my son was not mechanical all right he was a computer whiz he came into this business with me being a computer you know actually has a, a honors degree in cybersecurity but you know what he loves being out here blue collar better and he's making really good money I'm paying him the same amount of money he would have been as a uh Cybersecurity expert. And so it's benefiting us both. I'm passing on something. And he's uh, he's hungry. 
He loves it. He never complains. But I'm also not going to kill him out here. When the heat gets real hot, uh, him and I, we, we go home. And I tell the contractors, uh, see you tomorrow. Anyway, let me turn this around. This is just like they are in the order. This is for the fuel filter. And you notice it says made in Japan, Kubota. This is for the big one here. The water separator filter, look at it says. It's Kubota, but it says made in Germany. There's your numbers, okay? If you want to do all the crossover and stuff, you do it. Help. That's great. I stuck with Kubota. Hey, that's what you came with, putting it on there. Now, if there was another brand, you know, Napa or Wix or whatever, yeah, I run Wix or the Napa Golds on uh, as oil filters. So we're all good. Anyway, God bless you all. Love you. Grind on. Have a good one.